Yay! We got Assault, which is exactly what I wanted in the first place. Oh, I'd play you Torvald, but I got another fucking Assault Challenge. What's up with two Assault Challenges in a row? Fucking Hide and Parnell? Okay. It's like they're trying to make people play the classes that aren't really played the most. Which is sensible, but... <laughs> it is kind of annoying. I, I don't like... Challenges that make me have to play certain things if I play them and you can see that a lot of people just kind of avoid it They're like no fuck you. I'm gonna play Markov and then I'll participate in it anyways Ah, uh, well, all right, let me Choose damage output. We can't do the reload speed perk until it's fixed capacity might be nice Second between items and eh, we don't really swap between a rocket too much Okay I can also do healing per second, or heal regeneration. We'll just do this. <laughs> Capacity increase. It's just better. Ah, oh, man. They nerfed some of those perks so hardcore. It's saddening. Hey, look! Everyone's got elite things! But me, because I don't have any assault guys elited. Hmm. Or any support guys. <laughs> or monsters. I need to, like, find time to grind it out. I just haven't had, like... I haven't had the time lately to just sit down and go, you know what, I'm gonna grind out stuff. Or let me rephrase that, I haven't had nearly as much time as I would need to do that. I did grind out a little bit of Slim, uh, and a little bit of the Wraith, as you saw from that last match, I did have, uh, the Wraith starting oh, to progress towards three stars, right? whereas beforehand, they what? were still a little yeah, bit lower than that. I'm fine. Why? I don't know, you look, you know, when was the last time you got some sleep? Uh, I don't... Uh, between drops and working in the lab? Trying to figure these monsters out? I don't know, a couple of days ago? Okay, well, you need to sleep. Otherwise, you make mistakes in the field. You make mistakes in the lab. Miss a lot of stuff you would have seen otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll get some sleep after this drop. Uh, thanks, Gabe. Hey, okay, so we have Abe, Kyra, together, Hank, right? and Parnell. This is I a pretty solid team. I got some good healings. And Hank's got some good shieldings. So that always makes me happy. Now we just gotta find out where the hell this guy went. Damage resistance is typically this direction. So if that monster wanted damage resistance, this isn't a bad direction to go. Uh, we got a buff down here. Re reload. Oh no, jetpack. Uh, flight. Which is one of the more meh ones, because who uses the jetpack to fly? No, you just boost. And recently, well, not really super recently. But around, I guess, after the time Sunny came out, I started actually using the jetpack, like, vertical vertical jump. Which I didn't even know existed around, around that time. Oops, ignore that. Carrying birds. Uh, they just picked up birds. And yes, they are indeed on the other side of the map. So we gotta make our way over there and show this Kraken. I'm not afraid of them. Oh, damn. It's so weird that at some range, it just stops telling you that the birds were attracted. You'd figure that the range that you'd want to know where the fucking damn, birds are. Ooh. Damn. Damage resistance is great, especially since he's on the other side of the map. Go fuck himself. Oh, the trapper's not grabbing it. Okay. Well, as long as the medic has it, right? The medic and the support guys have it, which means we're fine. And the trapper's gonna continue his duties of trying to find the dude. Oh, I hate rounds like this, though. <laughs> just trying to find the monster and he's all the way on the other side of the map where you started. We don't know which direction he went. He could have gone right, he could have gone left. We have to hope for the best. But maybe he got a perk that doesn't allow the birds to be scared anymore, you know? We got the one-off. And that's it. Very hard to pin down where the hell he is. I highly doubt he's... Here? I'm gonna keep an eye on this. But yeah, I highly doubt he's anywhere up there anymore. Jumper here. 
Wait, okay. Yeah. What just happened? The birds just got scared. Thanks. Oh, there they go. Fuck it, it wasn't popping up on my screen. I'm like, where are the birds? Why aren't they there? There you go. They're on the completely different side of the area. Because they're cracking. And they're going to be pretty speedy. Thank you, attractive birds. I'm surprised this guy's gotten to stage two okay. yet. Adrenal boost is over. Woo, they still haven't gotten the nausea side effects ironed out. I mean, he can go to stage two any time now, but I mean, just like... The fact that he hasn't gone to it Healing yet is charge. like, oh. What? You've had all this fucking time? Trapper, did you, uh... Did you put a tracking dart on that damage resistance? No. Alright. I'm gonna go right, just in case he tries to sneak around, although he probably is just going in a linear fashion. I'm gonna go back to the damage buff. I highly doubt the Kraken even knows that it exists over there. But... I mean, it's along the way. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? Get out of here! Oh no, I destroyed this guy's porch! Well, that's what he gets for making a fucking porch out of wood. In space. God damn it! Damage resistance is gone. Alright, good. I'm not gonna blame the trapper for this game. But... I think we went past him. I think he's still back there. He's uh -huh. cracking. He's pretty quick. Ow. I was hoping I was hearing the monster footsteps. Instead, it is just the pumping sounds. God damn it! He's not even stage two yet! Man. There we go. Down at the water. Thing just got nasty. And he finally got marked. So he was actually behind us. He was not continuing in a linear fashion in the way that I was going. Oh boy. This will be interesting. Will my teammates catch up way too quick? Is the question. And the answer is yes. Well, I'm here, so that's good. It's in. Sup, Kraken! <laughs> I know he's pretty far up there, but that's fine. My shots still make contact. Oh. I heard Banshee Mines, I didn't know if they were next to me or not. They actually nerfed the Banshee Mines, I know I mentioned maybe before? I don't know. I've kind of been like scrapping a few rounds here and there. A lot more than like before, but just, oh gosh. I don't know what I've said and what I haven't yet. So I'm just trying to like cover all my bases sometimes. Oh, I can't fit through there. I'm too big, apparently. You know what? Even though I haven't had a chance to really do as much damage as I would have liked to... Two health bars of damage is solid! Dart's ready! Healing burst! Love it! Hopefully our trapper knows how to keep tracking darts inputted in or kept up on him. Come on, shoot him with another tracking dart. Yeah! I don't know if he made contact, but I heard him shooting it at least. And now the hunt begins. Capacity buff. Alright. Healing fields charged. Our trapper just does not give fucks about buffs. Although he doesn't really need a trapper buff. Or a capacity buff. But for me, oh yeah. I'm happy with this. Oh, might as well shoot it. Son of a bitch. You know what? It's rocket time. So supposedly they increased the accuracy of rockets by 
And I don't know exactly what that means. Did you make them faster? Did you just make sure that they always go in a straight line no matter what? I would have loved a little bit more technical no how on that. That's fine. The more he turns around to try and, like, slightly engage us, the more damage we can just do casually to him. Alright, we're taking way too much damage. For him just casually engaging. Oh, he fucked up. I hope this is a fuck up. Trapper hopefully gets him. I'm not gonna say anything, it's just kind of implied to the entire team, right? We would like to trap the guy. Unless our trapper missed with a dome that I never noticed. I don't know. This guy's taking a lot of fucking damage for not getting domed again, though. <laughs> oh my god. This Kraken is just not doing all that great. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna aftershock when they're nowhere close by. Poor guy. Little advantage for everyone. Uh, we probably should go left. Cut him off a little bit. At least the medic agrees with me. And support guy kind of got, like, That's confuddled about what he wanted to do in life. That's also fine. Except for the fact that he's probably going to die now. <laughs> Woo, good job, Trapper, on that tracking dart. I know I didn't say that in game, but well, that's fine. Okay. But, uh, they nerfed the Kraken's Banshee Mind, so they take a little bit longer to arm. And his Lightning Strike also goes at a more consistent speed, which is slightly a nerf. Because beforehand, you could start off really fast. And that would allow you to just kind of, like, immediately put it on people, even if you didn't start off near them. So I think be a little bit more directed about it. Hey, Dune Beetle. Dune Beetle, careful. Darn it up! Well, this is his end. He hasn't had a chance to eat much. Oh, he just gave up. <laughs> that or he left which I guess would still be giving up but you know for me I don't leave if I'm just gonna stand there and die anyways it's like you might as well just sit there and at least see how well you did and see where your masters are going unless you elite the monster I didn't see if he was an elite but he didn't fucking play like an elite eh. you know if I can say one thing I'm glad about for assault guys they have like the most simple uh, masteries out of the game just do damage. Except for Torvald. He has a couple masteries that are have your teammates do damage on your weak points. And those are a little bit more absurd. But they've made them better because now instead of having to get like a thousand bonus damage, it's three or 100. And then 300? I think that's the way it progresses. Whereas before it was a thousand and then 300. <laughs> and it. Oh my god. I played so many Torvald rounds and hardly fucking progressed it. Which sucks, because I hate that you get, like, stonewalled until you progress the other stars. It really doesn't make sense. You should be able to progress all the stars to three, no matter what. So that way, you know, there's less of a grind. But, ah, that's just my opinion. Hi-oh! I am a Wraith again. Hmm. 
I've heard bad things about the Behemoth after this last patch, and I already don't like playing Behemoth, so I'm gonna take a pass on that. I'm gonna take a pass on playing Behemoth right now. I know a lot of people want to see me play, but let's be honest here. I don't like playing Behemoth, so I, I don't want to be forced to play something I don't really enjoy. Uh, why not? I'm gonna play Goliath. Because he's casually our favorite. And we're not playing Wraith, and we're not playing Kraken. Hardcore Kraken's my favorite. Casually, Goliath's my favorite. I, <laughs> he's always enjoyable. Sometimes, actually. What am I talking about? No, last time I played Goliath was awful, right? Let's hope it's not like that again. Okay, so we're gonna go with our standard policy of two rock throw, one charge. So that way I can do major damage with my rock throw. And accelerate my movement with charge. And with that, I will go with the feeding speeds. Uh, feeding speed 75% because Goliath is pretty good at a lot of things. He's pretty balanced So it's easier to just focus down on trying to speed up my evolution if people are gonna like find me super easy Plus we're playing on fusion plant and fusion plant is one of the smaller levels uh, in my opinion If I'm remembering it right, it's the one that um, The only map we've played where we had the monster teleportation on an evacuation which I haven't been playing because the evacuation matchmaking playlist is even more dead than the skirmish playlist which is to say there aren't that many people playing it so there's not a point <laughs> even when there was like a ton of people playing evolve sometimes it would take a while to find an evacuation game nowadays not trying it is a shame that Evolve died super quickly, but it's just kind of, I guess, the nature of the entire thing. Playing Monster is super stressful, playing Hunter is super stressful, and then you have all the bad-mouthing about the game, and people are like, <laughs> DLC! I hate it all! And I'm crashing, okay. I hate it all! Plus, you can't forget the bugs and the crashes. Those are all awful, and that's exactly what we've got here.